Now in group 16, now the, in the last we have sulfuric acid H2SO4. Let's see first its preparation. It is prepared industrially by a process called contact process in which either the sulfur is heated in oxygen to give you uh, sulfur dioxide like this or this SO2 is obtained as a byproduct which is uh, which is actually the byproduct of the roasting process from the metallurgical uh, uh, processes. So it can be taken out from there also. This SO2 is oxidized to SO3 by heating it in presence of oxygen uh, in, in with oxygen in presence of vanadium pentoxide. Usually this whole system is allowed to take place or this reaction is allowed to take place at 2 bar pressure and 720 Kelvin. This SO3 is then passed through sulfuric acid which absorbs this and gets converted into oleum H2S2O7. This oleum then on treatment with water forms H2SO4. So two molecules of H2SO4 are formed. So one is consumed net, one is more formed. What is most important is some amount of SO3 is also given out in this which is actually being recycled back and this is how the whole contact process works. The sulfuric acid obtained in this is almost 96 to 98 percent pure and let us study its properties. It is a colorless, colorless dense liquid with, uh, with very uh, uh, a very highly viscous liquid because it is having extensive intermolecular hydrogen bonding between the different sulfuric acid molecular molecules. Its specific gravity is 1.84 grams per cc and its and boiling point is uh, 611 Kelvin, 611 Kelvin. That is very high, it is pretty high because it is having extensive uh, hydrogen bonding. The most important thing is it is it's soluble in water and its reaction with water is highly exothermic. Now what you need to understand is that when it is dissolved in water, it first forms what? It dissociates, it has to, it is a dibasic acid we know, it forms this H3O plus and HSO4 minus. Then what we find is this HSO4 minus when again is reacted with water, it again forms H3O plus and SO4 2 minus. This is dissociation constant first, this is dissociation constant second. Now what we find is Ka1 is very 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 large than Ka2. See Ka2 value is approximately is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus, uh, minus 3 or in, in some books it is written minus 2 like in NCRD this is minus 2. Now what we find is uh, this value of dissociation constant is very very less in comparison to ten, uh, first dissociation constant which shows that uh, the that the K1 is very high, the, uh, this HSO4 is comparatively far more stable in, in comparison to the sulphate ion. That is mainly due to chelation or intramolecular hydrogen bonding. But this is what is the behavior of the dibasic acid is. Then uh, since its boiling point is very high. This sulfuric acid is used to prepare other volatile acids like if we can take uh, a MX like X can be your fluorides or chlorides or nitrate. So when it is treated with sulfuric acid what we find is HX and we get M2SO4 uh, like if we have sodium fluoride in H2SO4 we can easily get Na2SO4 and we get HF. In a very similar way, if we are having sodium nitrate in presence of sulfuric acid, what we get is Na2SO4 plus HNO3. So this is how it is used in the preparation of other volatile acids.